Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Narrabri News and the news with time travel. My name is Rocket. I'll be your presenter for this morning. Well, this morning, we got something really special for you. We're sending Ben to a coronation. That's right. God is about to choose his new king. And we're going to find out who it is and where they've come from. This is going to be great. Ben, Ben, are you there? Well, yes, g'day, Rocket. I am here. I've snuck in the back of this coronation. We're going to find out who God has chosen as his new king. This is a momentous occasion, Rocket. It's great to be here. Wait, here comes the announcement. Oh, whoa, Ben, who's he going to choose? Who did he choose? It's Jesus. He's chosen his son, Jesus, as the king of the world. That's right. Oh, uh oh. There's a few rumblings going on. A lot of the kings, other kings, they're not happy. They thought it was going to be them. Oh, they're yelling and shouting. They're not. Oh, this is not a good thing, Rocket. Things aren't going well. They're rebelling against God. They're fighting against his chosen king. Wait, rebelling against God's chosen king? That doesn't sound like a good idea. Looks like they're about to lose Rocket. This battle was lost a long time ago. God chose his king Jesus at the cross. Jesus is the king who dies for his people. And that is what makes him the greatest king and worthy to be king of the universe. Because he made it. Oh no, that sounds scary. Is there any way we can be safe? It's okay, we can be safe. Jesus is the king who keeps his people safe. He keeps them safe no matter what. And as we read in Psalm, Psalm number two that describes all of this, blessed are those who take their refuge in him. We can find the good life by taking refuge in Jesus, the king God has chosen. It was a great thing to witness. I'll be back in the studio tomorrow. Thanks everyone. See you later. Well, thanks, Ben. That's a great report. It's good to know that we can be safe by trusting in the king that God has chosen. Good morning, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye.